Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. This is Nitin here and today again I have come up with a very beautiful problem. It is the moment of inertia of uh, helix. So yesterday idea of this problem has come to me. I don't know if it is existing already because it's a very regular geometry. So there might be possible that uh, it might be possible that uh, this problem exists already. I'm not aware of that. So let's uh, go and discuss this. So here is the statement of uh, this problem and uh, there is a regular helix here with uh, a pitch uniform pitch of P and uh, radius of helix is R and total length is L. So statement of the problem is find the moment of inertia of a uniform helix pitch P and having a uniform linear mass density of K assume that the length and the pitch are chosen in such a way that number of turns are integers so exact number of turns we are taking so so that this end and this end are uh, at the same level they are on the same vertical line all right so let's uh, discuss this uh, question here so here is the concept involved and in, it's a very simple problem you can say since mass distribution along the axis of the helix is identical to that of a ring therefore moment of inertia of helix should be also identical to the ring which is i axis is equal to mr square so whole task is for calculating the mass of this helix otherwise it's a very simple problem because all small small masses are present along a circle basically a uniform helix is generated by circular motion of the particle and forward motion of the particle at the same time with a constant velocity okay so here idea is find the mass of this helix in terms of given parameters and then we will get the answer for this question so let's uh, discuss this now here what exactly i'm taking is uh, i'm opening this helix and i'm saying this l is the length of helix in one turn so when you open this uh, helix in a plane then this slant height of the triangle this is the length of the actual uh, helix curve and in one circle this horizontal line is going to be 2 pi r in one turn whatever distance it is moving along the axis of the cylinder along the axis of the helix that is going to be the pitch of it so very easily from here i can say in this right angle triangle this base is going to be 2 pi r and its uh, pitch is will become height so this is the length of the curve in one turn which is l so i can use pythagoras theorem and i can write this l as root of p square plus 2 pi r whole square since k is given as the linear mass density i can say mass of one turn of the helix is going to be k times small l now somehow if i can calculate the total number of turns i am going to get the answer for my question so from here you can say number of turns will be total length of the helix you can see here total length of the helix divided by this uniform pitch p and we are set to go so here you can uh, see easily the total number of turns in this case is going to be l by p it is going to be l by p so here i am going to get this total mass of the helix as total number of turns multiplied by mass of one turn so if we substitute the value here number of turns are l by p and mass of one turn is kl let's substitute the value of this l here and uh, we are going to get this total mass as l by p k times root of p square plus 2 pi r whole square if i substitute this mass in the moment of inertia equation which is mr square i'll be getting uh, kl r square by p root of p square plus 2 pi r whole square you can leave your answer here itself or further you can simplify i'll take this p inside and it's going to give me kl is kl r square times root of 1 plus 2 pi r whole square by p 2 pi r by p whole square okay so this is going to be the answer for this uh, problem and it's a very simple problem I hope you have enjoyed it and uh, I'll be bringing more problems on helix. They, it is a very interesting geometry and uh, you, know, you can have very nice problems on this topic. And such type of questions are perfect candidate for uh, JE advanced exam. So this is it. If you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like. 
please uh, share it with your friends and teachers and uh, if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe it thank you thank you very much i'll be bringing one more amazing video thank you thank you very much